Hey guys, this is Chaos Link, and welcome to the next part of my Paper Mario Thousand Year Girl playthrough. Um, in this part, we're basically just going to return the Crystal Star from last chapter and do all that stuff that we do in between chapters. Um, I'm going to go ahead and par uh, power up Vivian right now. So she's actually useful because she kind of sucks right now. Then we'll go ahead and return the crystal star. Alright, Vivian's all leveled up now. She can now use, I believe, Infatuate, um, which basically just dazes the enemies so they can't um, hit you as easily. Which I guess is kind of helpful, but I never really use it. So I guess if you're one of these people that likes to inflict status conditions on enemies. Yeah. Status, condi uh, status conditions on enemies. I can't talk today. Um, status conditions on enemies, then you're really gonna like it, but, you know, I'm more of a fan of, if you kill them fast, they can't kill you, so, I don't really like, you know, the kind of things that can poke one with, like, growl and tail up and crap, the weakening them, I mean, the turns that you waste weakening them, you can just spend attacking them, and doing the same, if not more, damage, so, I really don't see the point in that, but, you know, if you're one of those people that likes to be strategic, unnecessarily strategic, Go right ahead and be my guest. Okay, I just had a little rant about an attack, but moving on. Back to this game. Or the game. Got the fourth crystal star back. I really wish they didn't make you do this after every single chapter, but whatever. And the little introductory part to get to chapter five um, is really annoying. I'm just gonna mention that now, it is really annoying. It, like, tries to repeat the last chapter, and it's unnecessarily repetitive. This is funny. It's on that little island, but it basically does nothing. It adds some water, and it basically just covers the island up again. And adds a little thing. It doesn't really change that much. But, whatever. Let's go to the professor's office. Woo! Yeah, um, yeah. He wants to go to the Summer Island called Keel Hall Key and get this treasure because he's a pirate. And yeah, there's this pirate Cortez that's there, the boss, by the way. But he's basically just telling you about all that crap. Then you have to go meet him at the harbor, or the dock, whatever you want to call it. We were at the beach. Everybody had matching towels. Somebody went under a dock, and there they saw a rock. But it wasn't a rock. It was a rock lobster. Oh. Sorry. Alright. We gotta talk to him, but he's like, we can't do this with a captain, so we have to find the next partner, which is the captain of the ship. Stop talking! Aye, aye, aye! Alright, now you gotta go 
go hunt Bobbery down. Which it really isn't that hard, but you know, he's an annoying old hag now, so yeah. Um, we're not going to finish this in this part, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this part. Uh, give me five star reviews down below if you did. And subscribe to my videos up in the corner and check out my other parts if you like this one. Uh, this is Chaosin, and I'm out.